Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come in the room. Come on in the room. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. Good morning to all of you. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. It is time for us to give the Lord our first and our best praise. It's time for us to magnify the Lord for he is great. He is mighty and he is powerful. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. Come in the room. The Lord is great. He is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be honored and adored. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. Good morning to you, Sister Cynthia. Good morning to you, Sister Barbara. Good morning to all of you. That's right. Come in the room. Let me know that you are here, that you plan to be a participator in the Word of God. Good morning to you, Sister Louise. Come on in the room. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Good morning to you, Sister Donna. And we're going to get right to what the Lord has for us on this morning. Father God, we just thank you so much, God, for who you are. We thank you that you are powerful and strong and mighty, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for these brand new mercies that you've given us, God, this morning and for that you allowed us, God, to wake up this morning to see them, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you have waken us up to see this brand new day, Lord, that you continue to bless us, God, and heal us, oh God. And Lord, that you show us how powerful you are and how much you love us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you uh, let us see our loved ones, God, this morning and that all is well. And Lord God, that even if it's not, we thank you that we give you praise anyway, oh God, for we know that the Bible says that all things shall work together for the good of them who love the Lord and who are the called according to his purpose. So thank you, Lord, for calling us, oh God, and thank you, Lord, for letting us, God, to walk in the path that you have for us, oh God. We know that when we continue to keep our hand in your hands, oh God, that you will make everything work out for our good according to your will and your way, Lord God. We thank you for allowing us to be connected with people, oh God, who have the power, the ability, and the influence to help us, oh God. And, and because of that, Lord God, that we will, God, uh, have opportunity, God, for open doors, and we will have opportunities, Lord God, yes, to do the things you call for us to do, God, in the earth realm. And we will have opportunities, Lord God, to influence ourselves, oh God. We thank you, God, for what it is that you allow us to do, God, not just today, but God, in times to come. We thank you for this word that's going to go forth, God. It's going to touch our hearts. And Lord God, lift us up in the places that we are in. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for those that are watching. We pray that you will give them a special blessing on this morning, God, to lift them from their places of despair. And Lord God, to let them know that you are God. And God, that we look to no other to do the things that we'd like for you to do in our lives. But we thank you, Lord God, for keeping us and for making us, God, to be the people you've called for us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And bless the Lord. Good morning to all of you that are joining this morning meditation. We thank you. Yes, 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 yes. For you supporting the, the ministry and yes, for supporting the work of God. Good morning to you, Sora Taylor. Good morning to you, Sister Jeanette, Sister Terry. Good morning to you. God bless you, Cousin Jean. Good morning to you, Sister Gloria, Sister Tamika. Good morning to you. God bless you, Sister Felicia, Sister Lenora. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Sister Gloria. God bless you, Sister Elaine, Sister Cynthia. Again, so good to see all of you. Yes, yeah, Sister Sonia, good morning to you. You know I owe you a phone call. Good morning to you. God bless you, Sister Barbara. God bless all of you that are joining this morning meditation. Listen, this morning we're going to talk about, you know, um, you, you know you've, all, you've all heard the saying, check on your people. Check on your people. Sometimes we um, don't check on the people that we think are holding it down. And sometimes, yeah, we don't check on the people sometimes that we think are the strongest. Um, good morning to you, Sister Sherry. Sometimes we don't check on the people that we think um, that we think have it all together. And, and in this time, especially in this, this um, you know, May is the month of Mental Health Awareness Month. And sometimes we don't check on people who we feel like, um, you know, don't need our assistance. We feel like that they are balancing their work and they're balancing their home life. They're balancing church situations. They're balancing things going on in the community. And it seems like that they are doing all those things well. But we don't know what happens behind the scenes. We don't know what happens when they get home. Who sings a song like that? Mary, Mary. What you don't know is when they go home and close the doors, they get on their knees and, and they're praying to God. You don't know what happens when they get home. And you don't know what happens when they get home and they're crying, you know, their eyes out because they're, they can't make ends meet. Or you don't know what happens when other things are on their life. And Good morning to you, Sister Marilyn. You don't know if they have other situations that are going on. Maybe they have situations with parents and they're dealing with these. And maybe there are illnesses in their family. And maybe you just don't know that maybe there are a lot of other pulls on them and on their life. Um, and sometimes we just need to check on people that we think are the strongest. Good morning to you, Sister Africa. But we don't. sometimes we don't do that because we feel like that they have it together. But people, we've got to check on them. 
But I want to say to those people that are really holding it down, good morning to you, Sister Trina. I want to say to those that really um, are the ones that maybe somebody is not checking on them. Yes, thank you, Sister Sonia. This is also small business. But I want to say to those that people are really not checking on you, or maybe you're the one. Maybe you're the one that seems like you're holding it down. You're not reaching out to nobody, but maybe you're the one. I want to say to you that sometimes you may feel like that God is, um, you, you know you're walking with God. Good morning to you, Lady Lucretia. You know you're walking with God, but maybe you, you feel like the load is getting heavy. And this morning, the Spirit of the Lord sent me to tell you that he has still, he's still walking with you. The Lord is not, you know, taking you this far to leave you. He's not forsaking you. And he wants you to know this morning that he's not leading you astray, but he is walking with you. He's walking beside you. And he wants you to know that you still have that assurance that, yes, he still considers you a good man. He still, he says the steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord. He's still ordering your steps. He's still walking with you. And sometimes, even when it seems hard, he wants you to know that he is still with you. It's like that, uh, that, that. A poem that somebody wrote about the, the, the steps in the sand. He wants you to know that he's carrying you. He is carrying you. And so don't be dismayed when it seems like times are hard. And don't be dismayed when it seems like you are carrying things all on your shoulders. Don't be dismayed when it seems like nobody is checking on you. And don't be dismayed when it feels like when you have to go home after a hard day at work. And, and maybe somebody is still calling you, asking you for something. Don't feel dismayed when you are are staying up till midnight, sometimes one or two o'clock in the morning, and you still working, you still trying to help other people, and you still trying to help other children while maybe your children are going astray. Don't be dismayed about that thing because the Lord is saying, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. Forsake you. I am still right here with you. He said, I'm still, he said, I'm still holding it down for you. He said, Don't you worry, don't you fret. He said, You know what? Because in the end, there's a reward for you. He said, Don't worry about it. He said, there's a scripture in the word of God. Yes, sister. Donna, there's a scripture in the word of God. And sometimes people of God, we all live, you know, we, we walk around and we carry so many things, Sister Stephanie, on our shoulders. And instead of us looking like the beautiful queens that we are, sometimes we run around and we, I mean, we carry that thing. And not only on our shoulders, Sister Felicia, do we carry it, but we carry it on the outside of us. And maybe there are many of us that maybe we're 30 and 40 years old and we, and we end up looking like we're 50 and 60 and 70 years old. But people of God, listen, the Lord wants us to be beautiful queens. He wants us not to carry that weight on on our faces. He doesn't want us to carry that. He wants us to look like the beautiful queens that we are. You know, instead of us carrying that weight on our shoulders and, and how we carry it in, in wrinkles and how we carry it in the way that we look and, and how we look haggardly. Listen, he don't want us to look haggardly. He wants us to wake up beautiful. He wants us to wake up in the morning. He wants us to, listen, in the morning, he says, I give you brand new mercies. I give you brand new compassions every morning. He says, that, he says they're new to you every morning. Every morning, he says, I I want you to wipe away that thing that whatever happened the day before. He says, I want you to wipe away that thing that happened that day before. He says, you can't do nothing about what happened yesterday. Yesterday is gone. He said, tomorrow, he said, tomorrow, let tomorrow take care of itself. He said, when you wake up today, he says, you recognize that I am doing something special and brand new for you. Whatever happened yesterday, that is all over. Whatever you didn't, glory to God, whatever you didn't get done yesterday, oh, just start it again anew. Glory to God. Come wake up with brand new joys. My God, that I'm giving you that, that your joy may be fulfilled in me. Let me read this, this uh, scripture because I'm getting excited about it. I'm getting excited about the joy of the Lord, which becomes my strength. Thank you, Sister Jean. Cousin, yeah, we got to live for today because what didn't happen yesterday, I can't go back and fix that. I can't go back and fix my God, how maybe I treated my children. I can't go back and fix what I didn't do. Men, God, we can't go back and fix how maybe we we weren't in our children's life. We can't go back and fix that. All we can do is start from today. If if the children will allow you to start and from today and fix that, you can fix what happened today. You can start from today and do something brand new if you would do that. But you can't go back and fix where you, when you weren't in their lives. You can't go back and fix when you didn't celebrate a birthday. You can't go back and fix where you did not show up at a graduation. Mothers, you can't go back and fix where when you weren't there for your daughter's graduation. 
situation. You can't go back and fix when you didn't buy her a prom dress. You mothers, you can't go back and fix that. But you can start from today and you can't go back and worry about those things. You just really can't do it because today is the day that you have to start brand new and fresh. And you got to recognize the Lord says, listen, I was with you then. I'm with you now. But I was with brand new. And when you do that thing brand new, he says, I'm going to walk with you. The psalmist says in Psalm 37 verses 23 through 28, he says this, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Oh, oh yeah. If I was in church, I would say your steps are ordered by the Lord. Let somebody know. You tell yourself, my steps are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. The Lord didn't bring you this far to leave you. I want you to know it may seem difficult to you. Things may seem hard to you today. And you are the one. You're the one that you're carrying the load. You are the one. You seem like you're struggling, but I want you to know that you're not struggling. You're not carrying this load by yourself. The Bible says that the steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. The Bible says, though he fall, he shall utterly not be cast down. Why? For the Lord uphold him with his hand. Yes. Yeah. I may fall down, but I'm not going to be cast down. Was that when it was back in the day, the toy, the weeble, the weebles, they wobble, but they don't, they don't fall down. I, 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 I'm not going to be utterly cast down. I'm not going to stay down there because the Lord is always with me. He is going to hold me up. The Bible says, for I have been young and now I'm old, but I yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about the things here where it says, I've not seen the righteous forsaken as long as we keep our hands in the hands of God. Yeah, because the Bible says he holds me with my hand. If as long as I keep my hand in his hand, the Bible says I've not seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. And why is that? Number 26 says this, for he is ever merciful. He lends and his seed is blessed. Yeah, whatever I need, the Lord gives that to me. We know there's a scripture in the word of God. It says that he will supply my every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And here it is in the Old Testament. Oh, it said it first. It said he is ever merciful. It said he gives me the thing that I need because his seed is blessed. But the word of the Lord says in number 27, I've got to depart from evil. Oh, yeah. But in order for these things to happen for me, there's, yeah, there's always a, a reciprocal relationship to the things that the Lord can do in my life. He says, if they depart from evil and do good and you dwell forevermore, for the Lord loves judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Yeah. The, the, the seed of the righteous. Yeah. The righteous. The, yeah. The righteous will not beg bread. The righteous will not be forsaken. But he said the seed of the righteous, the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. His saints, they are preserved. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Lord has not brought you this far to leave you. Yeah, you've come a long way, people of God. There are many things that you have done up leading up to the point that you are in. Yes, new day, new mercies. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. Man, you and the Lord have been through a lot. And oftentimes you say, God, what meaneth these things? You and the Lord have been through a lot, a lot, a lot. And you got to know, ooh, there's a song, who sung it? He said, I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. He's not, he's not been, he's not brought you this far to leave you. So you got to know that whatever you're going through, whatever is happening in your life right now, the Lord is going to continue to see you through that thing. Yes. And even though your friends may not come to see about you, even though family members may not come to see about you, I want you to know that the Lord will come to see about you. Oh, matter of fact, he will take that burden off of you. He will take it because that's what he said. He said, if you cast that care on me, cast it on me. He said, because I certainly do care. I care for you. And when you do that, that load that you're trying to carry, he says, you don't need to carry that load. He said, that, that load does not even belong to you. It isn't. He, he said, because he says, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. That's found in Hebrews 13 and 5. He said, that load does not even belong to you. Let me have that load. Let me carry that. So I know many of us that are on this line, you know, we're, we're in our seasoned years. We're in our seasoned years. 
But you know what? There are still some things that we are, yes, still some things as a center that we've been going through. And some of us have been running for Jesus a long time. You say, and some of us say, yeah, I'm tired. But you know what? We've come to the place where we say, you know, the road has not been easy. As a matter of fact, we've been through a lot of difficult times. Matter of fact, some of us have been through some pretty rough storms. We've been through some places that we've saying, I don't know if I was going to make it, God. There's some things that happen. You said, I don't know, Lord God, that I'm, I don't know if I'm, if I'm, if I'm walking on my strength, if I know if I'm walking on your strength. And, you know, I went to the grocery store yesterday and I thought, oh my God, I went in here for three things. I, and I, you know, and it happens all the time. But I ended up spending about $250. I thought, Lord Jesus, what is going on with the food prices? And what is going on with the, you know, and I, literally people, I was like, man, is somebody can sell me some food stamps? I'm thinking, what the world? And I'm thinking this, how can people survive? Literally, I'm not, y'all, I'm not kidding. Like, how can people survive when I literally did not go in there to grocery shop? I just went there to get a few things. I thought I spent $250. And I, I, of course, I picked up more than three things, but I thought, but this was not even really grocery shopping. And I thought, my God. Jesus, how? Yeah, I know y'all laughing, but I'm like, my God, how can you shop? How can you feed your family, literally, you know, with, with food prices like this? But then I thought about, God, you are the one that's going to have to bring us through. You're the one that's going to take us through, oh God, because without you, Lord God, we don't know what we would do. But I recognize, God, we've been, we've been, we've been on this road a long time. And Lord God, without you, we would not, we would not know what to do. But Lord, we've been running with you a long time. A long time. But Lord, I know you didn't bring us this far to leave us. So no matter what you're going through, whether it's food prices, you know, whether it's issues on your job, the Lord didn't bring us this far to leave us. He didn't. You think, you know, the, look at the children of Israel and when they were trying to, you know, coming out of bondage, you know, and they had been through some stuff, people of God. They had been through slavery. They had been through where they were, I mean, getting killed. They had been through some, some situations. They had been some hellacious situations, people of God. But God sent Moses to deliver them, to be their deliverer, to deliver them out of slavery, to deliver them. And when it went to, got to the Red Sea, oh, man, they looked at the Red Sea. They was like, shoot, we doomed. But you know what? Uh, uh, Moses got a word. He got a word from the Lord. And the road, the word was stretched forth your rod. Oh my God. Pharaoh, because Pharaoh was gonna let him go, but then he changed his mind. And Pharaoh got after them. And you know what? I can imagine the, the children of Israel, I can imagine Moses saying, Lord, you didn't get us this far to leave us. You didn't get us this far to allow Pharaoh now to catch us and capture us and take us back into captivity. Lord, you didn't get us out. Come on in here, somebody. You didn't get us out of bondage just to bring us back in. Surely, come on now. I, I can imagine they're saying, Lord, we like sitting ducks up here at the Red Sea. We we don't got no weapons. We don't got no chariots. We don't got horses like uh, Pharaoh got. We don't got what the, we don't have what Pharaoh has. Lord, look, this, yeah, I can imagine they are sitting there, the children of Israel sitting there thinking like, Moses, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? But I can see the hand of God. I can see the Lord saying, listen, I didn't bring y'all this far to leave you. Listen, I'm, I've ordered your steps up to this point. Listen, I already let you know, my God, that the righteous will be delivered. I've already let you know, my God, that I didn't bring you this far. And, and just like Moses, my God, and glory to God, just like Moses, be in the children of Israel, I want you to know that he, he delivered them. He delivered them from a, from a, from a position, from a place from, that, that seemed impossible, that seemed like though they were going to be caught. They seemed like they were going to be uh, put back into bondage. But just like them, I want you to know that all of us, so the, the time, just we're gonna we're gonna face some Red Sea experiences when it seems like our back is against the wall, where it seemed like we've been pulled out of something, but the, like like out of the fire into the fire frying pan. Oh yeah, 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 and out of the fire pan into the fire. But you know what? It seems like we're gonna have nowhere to go. It seems like there's gonna be wickedness and high places coming against you. All the weapons are going to be forming against you. But I want you to know that the Lord has not brought you this far to leave you. Seems like there's going to be uh, people talking about you all over the community. And seems like you're not going to be able to get out of it. 
Yeah, it seems like that 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 spirit of suicide is going to come out and come over you and try to overtake you. Seems like every mountain, my God, is going to try to close in on you. But don't believe the hype. Don't believe the enemy. Don't believe what the enemy is trying to tell you. How he's trying to tell you to take your own life. How he's trying to tell you that, that no situation is going to be able to be solved. Don't try to believe the enemy when he's saying that that financial difficulty is going to overtake your life. Don't, don't believe the enemy when he's saying it's, it's, no, it's no use. Just give up. Don't believe him. Because I'm the Lord, Spirit of the Lord, speak me to tell you today that there's no no issue, no problem, no trial, no tribulation, no no sea that's going to pull you under for the last time. And he's saying to tell you this morning that He didn't bring you this far he didn't, in your life. He didn't bring you this far. Your circumstances and your situation. He didn't bring you this far just to leave you. No, 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 no. He says there's going to come a time in your life when enemies are going to try to destroy you, and and he, it may be now, right now. You think there's something whirling in the atmosphere that's trying to take you out. Of. But he didn't bring you this far. Yeah, no, no, no. To leave you. There may become a time in your life where you feel like you don't have enough to eat. There's no food in your cupboard. You didn't tell anybody. Listen, you you went to the store. You didn't have enough money, glory to God, to, to buy what you wanted to buy. You were like me. You went to the store. And you're like, what the world? What happened to these food prices? And you had just barely enough to get enough food and, you know, for your family. You thought, what in the world is going on here? But you know what? The Lord is saying, listen, I'm going to send you some bread from heaven. I'm going to send you somebody, my God, that will, at the, at the at the food counter, they will, listen, they will open up their wallet. They will pay for the food for you. Listen, I've seen it happen. Glory to God. Because what he's saying to you this morning is, I didn't bring you this far. No, 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 not to leave you. He said, there's going to be a time where you're going to be walking through the valley of the shadow of death. You're going to be like David. He said, yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, something's going to happen. He said, the Lord is going to be with me. He said, don't believe that death is going to over take you. Don't believe it. Even though you feel like you may have an illness or a disease that's going, that you feel like God is going to, not that you feel like it's going to overtake you because God's not going to do it. You, but you know that God is going to heal your body. Don't believe what the enemy is saying that that sickness is unto death. Don't believe that, my God, because my God, the Lord is saying to you, I did not bring you this far. Come on in here, people of God, to leave you. I'm talking to that strong person, that person that seems like on the outside, they got it all together and then nobody is checked on them. I'm talking to that person that's going home, come on, in the evening time and they're closing their door and they're crying in their pillow. I'm talking about that one, my God, that, that you stayed up all night long. And Yeah, it's six o'clock in the morning, but you didn't get an hour of sleep last night. You were waiting for this meditation because you didn't know what Pastor Tina was going to talk about this morning. But you were waiting on that time that you could speak a word into your spirit that would lift you up. And that word this morning is, do you hold on. Don't you worry about what's going on. Glory to God, because God is going to work that situation out in your life. There, there has come a time, my God, when there's temptation may try to overtake you and, and your flesh may try to come on, hem you up, my God. But I want you to know that God has not brought you this far to leave you. You've been trying to get over this addiction, my God, that, that oh my God, this addiction is trying to overtake your body. And maybe it's a sexual addiction or maybe, my God, it's a drug addiction. Maybe it's an alcohol addiction addiction, my God. And, and my God, you haven't told anybody because listen, you are, you're a functional addict. My God, you can go to work and, and yeah, you can hang out with others. And, and my God, you can, you can drink a little bit and my God, you can, you can drink a little bit. And people don't know what's going on with you, but my God, people of God, you, 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 you I said people of God, because sometimes we can hide that thing among the saints, but I want you to know my God, people this morning that, that you've got to put that thing in the hand of God, because the Bible says, listen, that God hasn't brought you this far to leave you. you. You're trying to get over that addiction, but my God, that flesh keeps calling you back. But my God, he has not left you. He wants you to know, my God, that he is faithful. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 13, that God is faithful and he will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able, but he will, my God, with every temptation, give you a way of escape that you can bear it. You got to just call on that way of escape. You got to pull it down. You got to 
declare, my God, yeah, you got to declare out of your mouth that you will, my God, see that way of escape. And when you see that way of escape, you will walk through that way of escape, my God. You, you can do it, my God. You can do it. Glory to God. He said, listen, I've not brought you this far to leave you. I've not brought you this far to allow that thing, my God, to overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. We've got to know, my God, that temptation tries, my God, to come and temptation tries to take you, my God. But you've got to know that God says, I'm not, my God, brought you this far to leave you. I'm talking right now to those strong, your strong friends. I'm talking to you this morning. I'm talking to those, my God, that are on this line this morning who knows, my God, yes, that you are the one that's got to take care of the responsibilities of the family, that you are the one that's got to take care of the responsibilities of your extended family, that you are the one that's got to hold down the job, and that you you are the one that people call when they need something. You are the one that's got to have the extra cash, my God, in case when your loved ones are in jail, you got to get them out. You are the one, my God, that every time there's a Red Sea experience for somebody else, that you are the glue, my God, that holds, my God, them together. My God, you are the one, glory to God, my, 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 my God, you are the one. Yes, 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 you are the one. So, my God, you are the one that you got to know that God is ordering your steps. My God, he's making a way for you. He is making a way. And you got to know that God did not bring you this far. He didn't bring you this far to leave you, people of God. Yes, yes, he knows. He knows what's going on and he sees all. And you've got to be encouraged this morning that God is going to work this thing out. Oh, yeah, he's working it out on your behalf. But what do you got to do? You've got to commit yourself to him. Oh, yeah, First, uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 12, it just says simply this. Yeah, you got to declare it. You got to declare it, Sister, Sister Jennifer. For I know whom I have believed in and persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. You got to commit your body. You got to commit your mind and soul. You got to commit those things to God. You got to commit your heart. You got to commit your things to him that he will keep it for you. You got to declare it. You got to declare those things to God. What did I talk about on Sunday? When you declare a thing, it shall be established. And when things are established, it's like they're set in stone. Or you got to establish your walk and you got to declare, my God, your talk. You got to just say to the Lord, Lord, I don't believe it. I don't believe you brought me this far to lead me. And so therefore, I declare, my God, that Lord, you are with me. I declare, yes, 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 that you will not forsake me because of the word of God. I can believe that thing is true. It is the will of God, yes, that we had said, yes, 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 that he has established my walk in him. I don't believe the Lord has brought me this far to lead me. I know there are storms that have come up in my life, but I declare that the Lord will make a way for you. Yes, you got to say that. You got to make it personal. You got to say, Lord, because I know you've not brought me this far to leave me, I declare that you will make a way for me through the storms of life. Yes, that I face right now. You got to say, the Lord, I declare that you will help me, Lord God, speak a word in every mountain that comes in my way. Lord, that word will allow me to make that mountain move from here to there. Not God not because I'm powerful, but because the word is powerful, because your word says it, oh God, Lord, because I know that you, God, have not brought me this far to lead me. I declare, Lord God, that every enemy in my life, oh God, has been destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and Lord, my God, yes, every bridge, and God, Lord God, yes, God, hallelujah, that has come, God, in my way, God, I, yes, everything, every opportunity, Lord God, that I am able, God, to conquer, I thank Thank you, Lord God. I declare that I'm able to conquer every opportunity. God, every door that has been opened for me, oh God, I declare, Lord God, that I can walk in that door, God, and find an opportunity, Lord, because I believe. I just don't believe, God, you brought me this far to lead me, oh God. And Lord God, I can take advantage of every opportunity that you've placed in my path, oh God. I thank you, Lord God. Yes, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, let me just pray this prayer, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. 
for standing with me. For Lord God, you said that you will never leave me, nor my God will you forsake me. And I thank you, Lord God, when they try, oh God, to throw me in the fiery furnace. Lord God, I thank you that you are right there with me. For you said you would never leave me, nor will you forsake me, Lord God. And I refuse, oh God, we refuse, oh God, to bow down, God, my God, to anything, my God, but you, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we bow to you, oh Lord God. We worship you, God, in everything, oh Lord God. We take a stance for you, oh God, for you are King of kings and you are Lord of Lord, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for steadfast believing in you, oh God, for my God, for understanding, God, who you are, God, in all things, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, yes, for raising a standard with the word of God, Lord God, even as God, we pray. And we thank you, Lord God, for those, God, that are, God, holding on to your word, God. We know, God, that situations come, Lord God, and we face, God, weapons, my God, that are forming against us, but we recognize, God, because you are King of kings and you are Lord of lords, uh, just like you delivered, my God, the three Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace, God. You, God, will deliver us, so we thank you, God, that even though we go through trials and troubles and strip tribulations, oh God, yes, God, you delivered us out of them all. We thank you, Lord God, yes, for the righteous men and women of God. God, that you have not forsaken, oh God. Yes, because you continue, God, to order our steps in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us these experiences, God, for the experiences, God, of the fire, for the experiences, God, of the flood. But, but God, you never let us burn and you never, oh God, let us drown. For Lord, you continue to hold us up with your whole righteous right hand, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for continuing to bring us through, God, troubles and situations, oh God, that we might have a testimony for somebody else, that somebody else, God, who is facing an illness or somebody else who is facing a financial issue, oh God, may be able to come out, God, because of the very word that we've spoken, because of the manifestation of your power, oh God, in our life, oh God. So right now, God, we pray for those who are facing illnesses, God, and we pray for those, my God, who are facing financial difficulties, oh God, and we pray, God, you come to their rescue right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Help them to know, oh God, that you have not brought them this far to leave them, oh God, even though the enemy tries to come in like a flood. It's the spirit of the Lord that shall lift up a standard of, against them, oh God. We declare right now, God, a lifting up of the standard against the enemy of God, or in the, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that yes, God, because you've not forsaken us, oh God, you will cut the enemy in two. You will cut him down in the mighty name of Jesus. You will cut him, my God, from every affliction, oh God, that he's tried to put against us, from every trial that he's tried to come against us if we deliver thank you for deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God that you will not leave us in the fire you will not leave us in the trial Lord but you will bring us through we will not be burned oh God we thank you oh God yes for your word of God that tells us oh God that when we pass through the water that you will be with us and when you pass through the river that God they will not overtake us and God and when we walk through the fire we will not be burned oh God and the flame God will not even touch us so we thank you oh God for walking with us right now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, yes, God, that you, God, continue to go with us, and we thank you, God, even right now, and I pray right now for the people of God, they will have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, oh God, that lets them know, Lord God, that even though, my God, we may walk through these situations, oh God, that you are walking right with us, God, for you, God, have not left us, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that you did not bring us this far in our walk, you did not bring us this far in our talk, oh God, God, you did not bring us this far in our life, oh God, to leave us, oh God. So we thank you right now, God, that as we look around, as we set, so set our sights, God, on you, that you are right there, Lord God. We thank you, God, that we don't need anybody right now in our situation, in our spaces, oh God, that are not following you, God, that are not walking with you, oh God. No one to hinder our walk, not no one to hinder our life, and no one to hinder the path that you have us on. But we thank you, Lord God, just for who you are, the mighty God that you are. We thank you, Lord God. Yes, for what you continue to do, God. And we thank you that this word, God, will not return void, but it will accomplish what it is that you sent it to do, oh God. So thank you, God, for the release of your joy. Thank you for the release of your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, people of God. Listen, I love you all so much with the love of Jesus. And I'm talking right now to all of my strong friends. Yes, 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 yes. The Lord Lord, that sent me, my God, to encourage you this morning. Yes, that he is right there with 
you. Yes, my God, that strength, my God, that you need, it comes from him. You cast your cares on him and allow him to continue to walk with you, that you will do all that he's called for you to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I love you so much. You have a wonderful day. You go in peace. Glory to God.